Michael Cheney from michaelcheney.tv <laughs> Talking to your, your subscribers and customers, what's, what's some of the things that they're, they're looking to learn when they're first starting out? Well, I suppose it, you kind of get a lot of, uh, you know, asked a lot of questions, and some of the questions, you know, seem to be the same thing. So I don't know what you find, but people are always asking for, you know, traffic. You've always got people saying, you know, how do you make money? How do you get started? And, mm -hmm. and do you find the same sort of questions coming up? Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely a. What's going on, guys? Hey, hey how are you doing? Hey, what's up, man? What are you up to? Just talking about some business. Just talking business. Yeah, right? we just, yeah. Well, you know, we're just saying how you get all the same questions coming up. Yeah. You know, from your list and just sort of, uh, do you find the same thing? Oh, people it's the same, same thing. Song? You know, everyone's asking traffic. Everyone wants to know, you know, how to make money. Everyone wants to know, you know, about product creation. Same thing crops up, list building. Yeah. So, so what are some of, the, some of the ways people can uh, start getting traffic to their websites? Oh, well, traffic, you know, the best, the best way to, before even talking about traffic is getting started, you know, because, yeah. you know, before even getting traffic, you need a website. You know, so That's you need true. to get started first. That's true. And everyone's saying, you know, drive traffic, but well, you can't drive traffic to no man's land. Yeah. You know, if you drive traffic to no man's land, what's the good? And you know, you, you need to learn about traffic generation. You know, so even before, you know, even before even trying to drive traffic, you want to learn how to drive traffic. You know, so really product creation. So what? How, what would you say? Not even product creation. What would you say to people to get started? To get started, um, I mean, it's difficult to know exactly where to start. I mean, people face with so many like, you know. Possibilities, different routes, different uh, gurus like yourself, like Alex, and uh, people just really find it difficult to, to know where to get started. I mean, not, my advice to people is, you know, if you are getting, uh, if you're looking at this, you're looking at the opportunity, you're just getting into it, and you're thinking, look, there's all this different stuff out here, is just to start, you know, start with the end in mind, plan what you actually want to get out of it, why you're getting into internet marketing in the first place, you know, how much money do you actually want to make specifically, by when. Um, what you're going to do with that money? What do you actually want to get into? Because I don't know what, uh, what it's like for you guys, but you know, when I first got started, I was, I didn't really know why I was doing it. You know, I wanted to have this figure of I want to make a million dollars, but I didn't really know why. I didn't yeah, know what I was going to do. That's the thing. Everyone wants the million dollars. You know, I ask everyone, what do you want? I want a million dollars. I'll make a million dollars by this year. And I say, well, my goal this year is a quarter of a million dollars. Like, oh no, I'll make a million dollars. So I've been doing this three years longer than you. Nope, still not a million dollars for me. Yeah, and you see yeah. a year later and they're still buying all these different products, they don't know what to do with themselves. So really it is just finding something, well not even finding something, first of all is finding what you want to get out of it, what you want to yeah, achieve, sure. then you've got the goal to move towards, yeah? Sure. And, uh, and, and people just oversee that, you know, they try to skip that. And the funny thing is people try and skip the learning process and try and do. So they think they can come, come online and do something without learning how to do it. And because they don't understand the operation in between, mm -hmm. You yeah. get lost, and then they, then that's why they're spinning their wheels, you know. And I see it over. Obviously, you guys see it over and over and over. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, the first thing is, you know, how how I tell people to do it is is build a blog. You know, very simple thing to do. Build a blog, and then instead of having to go out and build an ebook, build a website, and build you know do a product launch and all the things they want to do, start somewhere. You know, start small, think big, and uh, build a blog. And once you build a blog, put your first blog comment on it. Sure. Install some Google Analytics so you can see the traffic starts landing yeah, on your yeah. blog. Free stats. Yeah, so it's free stats, and then you start you start seeing something happen. You know, you start to see. Well, hang on a second, we're getting some results here. Then you leverage the results. Say, okay, so I've, I've got a bit of traffic. I've got a blog, so you put another blog comment on there. Uh, you know, and then you start getting people coming to your blog, get traffic, and then a good way is what I call my my oil rig uh, hopping scenario. Sure. Is where you go to all different blogs, and mm -hmm. you don't you don't go and pimp your blog. You don't go and Say hey, you come and see my blog. Sure. But you look at their conversations on their blog, and start interacting as as a person and adding value. Yeah. And soon enough, you know, when people say hey, I've got no value to add. Well, as soon as you put your blog up and you've learned how to do the blog, but you, now you've learned something. Yeah. So you haven't just jumped from tr coming online to to doing something. You, yeah. you've, you've made a learning process. Well, I suppose it's it's like what we were saying on the on the boat earlier on that um, we're still swaying as well. Yeah, I'm not a sewer. But if we, if we were like. You know, if we were just to sit down now and say, oh, let's create like an ebook or something like that, we could do it like yeah. pretty quick. But there's been, you yeah. know, a lot of learning has gone into that. Yeah. I think when people are starting out, you can either, you know, you've really faced with two options, I think. You can either go off and, and learn that on your own, and it will take a long time, because that's what we've all had to do to mm. some extent. 
or you can actually go ahead and I get this right. Well, mouse yeah. running around. Oh, you could just yes, something. Noise, yeah. Yeah. Um, either that, or you could actually follow somebody that you model. Sure. You know, maybe <laughs> somebody you look up to, or um, you know, just to get on top or whatever of of you know that particular marketplace. Because if you if you learn it all on your own, you know, you, you might think that you'll get away sort of squeaky clean or whatever, but you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna have to. Um, I think find somebody that, <laughs> Carry on. that is um, already successful at what you're doing because then you can kind of bounce back and forth yeah. um, you know ideas and, and you know rather than trying to do it totally on your own you know it works better when there's two people going at it together you know sure and I think mm. what's also important to mention is that uh, mindset you know, before all that being said, having the right mindset yeah, yeah. is very important. You know, are you just going to do internet business for fun mm. or are you going to take this seriously and really put forth a strong effort? And once you have that mindset of, I'm going to take this seriously, I'm going to put forth a strong it's effort. It's a business. It's no, it's yeah, a business. It is a business. It's a day. People it come on and think, I'm going to make some money, but I don't want to have a business. Well, when you do business, you do, you know, when you make money on the internet, you do a transaction, which is mm -hmm. also known as a business sure. transaction. Sure. So, you know, you can't sell to somebody. And this, this is this is what you know gets me. People think they can make money on the internet, yeah. And money just you know comes from the internet. Well, they forget there's another person on the other side somewhere in the world paying that money that comes to them, yeah. So what people think is oh, I'm going to make money on the internet, and they just try things. But if somebody else sees it, they don't see it as value. Why are they going to pay the hard-earned cash mm, sure. for that value? So you have to build yourself as a brand, as a really as as you on the internet, as a person to be trusted. That you you know there's no risk of somebody doing business with you or through you. So if you're an affiliate to somebody, if you don't have your own product, then you know you can somebody will do business through you because they trust you. They they, they can see. And that's what's so good about a blog that when you build a blog, it's free to build. You know you get they attract traffic because you know I don't know why my blog gets so much traffic. I don't I don't do anything to drive traffic, but it gets a lot of traffic. I don't know. I just know it does. You know. Yeah. So yeah. my blog gets a lot of traffic and I get lots of comments to my blog. So that, that gives me the third party endorsements and mm -hmm. people saying thank you for previous things that I've done. So the blog is always evergreen. So you know people can just see that you know they can go back six months and see I was still doing good stuff and helping people and they feel comfortable to do business with me. Mm. So you know that, that's the thing of you know making sure that like you say it's not it's the mindset is having a business mindset of going into it. You know, this is a business, that's that's Absolutely. you know, be strategic about it and have you sure. know have plans, have mm -hmm. a year goal, have and you know, people say, well, what's your goal for the year? A million dollars, you know. But you know, if 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 people if you can say right, what's your, your goal for the year? Okay, so a year is a year away. Let's have a plan. Uh, do you want to grab? That'll be the yeah, uh, that came through. Um, you know, ha have a plan for you know uh, a year, or have a plan for ninety days. Absolutely. And then when you've got a ninety day plan, that the plan is so soon. Yeah. And I break my ninety day plan into three monthly plans. Sure. And then when I've got my my first month plan. That's my most urgent things I need to do to make me get to the, you know, to my yeah. end goal. Otherwise, you're kind of all over. The yeah, place. and then I break that month plan into four weekly plans. Yeah. Then I, and then I do my week plan. Then I break that into daily tasks. Yeah. Then I plan tomorrow today, so I know exactly what I'm doing tomorrow yeah. to get me to my ninety days to get me to my year. I do the same thing, and I even break it down to the night before. What am I doing tomorrow? Yeah, plan tomorrow today. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. You know, so, so the night before. I write it down so exactly when I come in my office instead of saying, Hey, I go and speak to Jason James on MSN now and spend two hours with this guy. Yeah. Um, you know, it's right. I could just say, Right, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna you know make sure I'm productive right now. Yeah. I'm not gonna go into my email inbox. Sure. I'm not gonna be on Skype with Michael Cheney for hours. <laughs> but in, in in theory it sounds great, but we've we've all practiced yeah. practiced this and that and that's planning. <laughs> playing now for, for the very next day and into mm. the future mm. and in theory it sounds great but it really does work when you plan out you'll get so much more done of course I just say to Jason then you know how I plan you know if, for instance if you try and plan a year away well, let's just break that into four 90 day plans break your first 90 day plan into three month plans then get your first month break yeah. that into four week plans and then and then basically get you know your first week plan break that into daily tasks and then plan tomorrow today so you know exactly what you're doing mm -hmm. so in the morning I say you know because before when I was starting out when I was a newbie the first thing I would do, I'd run to my computer, turn it on, get on MSN with him. You know, and I'd just be, you know, for hours, just like, James, what are you doing? You know, and just trying to find out what was in his head. Because, you, know, yeah. you know, I did. That was, yeah. you know, the, one of the very first people I met was uh, Jason James, and he was, you know, big successful guru. <laughs>